Uh, this week, this past weekend, or week, I had um, myself and Brother Gideon, we had given a church security class. And that church security class uh, had to do with a lot of things. It had to do with how, and of course, it, I'm just using that as an example. You could be building security, office security, uh, in, any type of security. We just used it for church security class because of the systemic violence of these soft forms that's continually going on in this country that anyone who wants to perpetuate evils, injustices, or just want to cause a lot of pain by murdering innocent people in this country, they have all they have to do is go to the, the malls and the churches, any places where you see no guns allowed. Of course, there's no such, I don't, I ain't never seen no guns allowed sign on a church. If that was the case, if I ever went to a church um, and it says no guns allowed, I wouldn't go in. Uh, uh, I just wouldn't go in. Uh, that's just my personal belief. But anyway, um, in Tennessee last week, the usher is being held as a hero. Now, I want to go over this for a second because I want to show you what pro what the problems is the pro and what the problems are. Excuse me. Um, a young usher, usher who confronted the suspect uh, accused of opening fire at a church in Antioch in Tennessee on Sunday is a hero, according to police. His family says that's no surprise at all. And this is what happened. Okay, Robert Engel, 22, and usher with the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ saw the suspected gunman identified as the 25-year-old Emmanuel Kiddily Sampson and jumped to stop him, according to witnesses. Engel, the usher, physically engaged with Sampson, investigators added, ultimately the suspect was shot, and Engel suffered an, a, a significant injury around, no, yeah, around his head after being pistol whipped. So let me see. A guy comes into the church, the usher sees him, he jumps him, and he loses the battle in the fight because he uh, is getting pistol whipped. Anyway, Engel then ran to his car, grabbed a gun, and held the gunman at gunpoint until law enforcement arrived, witnesses said. All right, first of all, number one, let's just stop right there. If you have the opportunity to go to a place where you can get trained properly how to deal with situations like this, I understand he may be held as a hero, uh, but he sustained a lot of injuries and stuff. And um, I can tell you right now, I'm not holding nobody at no gunpoint that comes in to the church where I preach at and he fires off some shots. Uh, when the police come, they can bring a body bag. That's what they can do. Now, while in this country, uh, people say, you know, guns are evil, guns are violence. Here is a Christian at a Church of Christ church that carries a gun in his car. Now, would it not have been more intelligent if he had the gun on him rather than in his car? Then he wouldn't have been pistol whipped. Uh, he could have actually... Um, stop that violence and besides you know having seven eight nine people getting shot he could have stopped that violence because a gun does you no good if it's sitting in your car <laughs> and then you have to run to the car to go get it what kind of sense does that make it makes no sense at all all ushers should be armed uh you see and and you know, i'm not gonna spend a lot of time in this i really truly am not um but the tbi and the FBI is launching an investigation. They always launch an investigation, all right? And they call it a dead, it was a deadly church shooting. Um, but I tell you, you have to change your mind. You have to change your mind. You have to change your mind. And don't wait for your pastor. Don't wait for your mom and your dad and your friends who are pessimistic against guns to change it for you. Because when you hang around the wrong people, who have an alternative perspective and point of view about the way things ought to be done in this world and the way you should carry yourself, um, I'm telling you, flat out, flat out, you will not be prepared. Train, 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 and then train again. But don't leave your gun in the car if you're going to church. You don't have to tell nobody you have a gun on you. Oh, I'm going to say this again. If some of you churches... In Nashville, Tennessee, um, or in Tennessee, 
if you want me to come and train you on church security, I would do that. Uh, but it's going to cost you for my time, my energy, and my effort and travel. It just it simply is because I can't be going around giving all these free classes and stuff and, and then take away from the ministry that I'm doing here. Um, but we gave wonderful, wonderful training. And I hope that some of you would take me up on this uh, because it's not expensive at all. I don't charge like the rest of these people out here. Um, but I am going to have to be compensated for my time, my energy, my effort, and travel if you choose to. Um, but, hey, it's up to you. At least I made my services available.